Today, I have a full day. I'm actually giving myself 10 hours to catch five bass that weigh 15 pounds on a lake that I have never seen before in my life. If I can't, I'm going to be giving away over $100 in fin fishing apparel to one of you lucky subscribers. I got one. Oh my God. <laughs> Today I'm fishing a lake on the North Carolina Georgia border. It has both largemouth bass and spotted bass and the primary forage is blueback herring. Bluebacks are actually a very unique forage species because they were brought in from saltwater and they really change the way that largemouth and spotted bass act. I launched near the dam and after looking at a map, I noticed a small island pretty close. Islands can often be a great place to find summertime bass. So I ran to it and started idling around it to try to find some rock, some brush, or some fish. After marking some brush and seeing some fish on another brush pile, I immediately stood up on the front deck, put my trolling motor in the water, and I started to see some fish on my Mega Live. Could I have landed on them this quick? After throwing several different baits at these bass, the problem was I just couldn't figure out what the fish wanted. I had a lot of followers, but none of them were committing to the bait. After wasting a lot of time around this particular brush pile, I actually went and I marked a few other brush piles and I was having the exact same issue. I was seeing fish on my Mega Live, but I could not figure out a lure that these bass wanted to eat. Now fast forward about an hour and a half into my day and I was actually sitting on a point when I happened to scan over and see a lot of bait out in kind of the middle of nowhere. And I also noticed a school of bass that were close by. Now all of a sudden as I was looking down, I saw these bass starting to push this bait literally right to the side of my boat. I picked up a bait as they started busting throughout to them and well, this happened. I got one. Oh my God. There's, there's the first one. I gotta get in. Look at those fish right there. Here he comes. Well guys, we have been fishing for about two hours and the sun kind of just popped out and I just got my first little keeper spot. Um, I found some areas that have a lot of fish in them, but man, I cannot get them to bite anything. I've tried several different baits. That's only a one, 125. <laughs> So we got a long ways to go to our 15 pound mark, but finally got us, look how beautiful and fat that fish is, man. There was a bunch of them that came up. There's probably like 50 of them that are right there. Um, I don't think they're very big, but the sun is just starting to pop out. And from my experience that I've had on Lake Hartwell, which kind of sets up similar to this lake, is that the sun is a big deal. It really gets the bluebacks to kind of raise up and rise up to the surface, and it really gets those bass looking up too. So I'm hoping that with the sun starting to pop out, I'll be able to kind of figure something out. Uh, I just caught that first fish off of kind of a little sneaky bait. Um, it, it looks like a spook, 
uh, but it's actually a, a it's actually a, called a, a Lucky Craft Wander, and it's a it's a it's like a sinking topwater bait. They use these a lot in saltwater fishing, um, but it's a little good little bait. And uh, that fish crushed it. There was probably six or seven on it, um, but I only got the one. So I'm gonna try to keep on firing over here, see if I can't get another one. Now, after several hours of fishing around, finding brush piles, I was only able to get one other fish to bite, making my second keeper. Yeah. This video is brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. Right now for the month of September 2024, I am running a package deal over at Finn Fishing. You can get a USA made sun shirt and a pair of Finn Fishing sun gloves for $60. So it's basically like getting an extra pair of sun gloves for just six bucks. The sun gloves are one of the most popular products on the website and right now you can get them for a great deal. So all you gotta do, add the sun shirt that you want to cart, add the sun gloves that you want to cart, you will see that automatic discount at checkout. Shopping at Fin Fishing, it's truly the best way to help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel and I greatly appreciate all of you who have done so. All right, well. I'm really trying my dang hardest right now, but I'm just struggling a little bit to really figure out what these fish want. Um, that little, you know, sinking top water, that wanderer bait's about the best I got. Just a little keeper there, 1.16. Just trying to figure something out. I definitely got to get around some bigger ones. So it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. After this collision of schooling bass, I just continued to look for more brush piles, really hoping that I would either figure out what the fish wanted to bite, or maybe I would find a school that was just in a biting mode. And that's actually what happened. After several hours, I found a large school of fish and I was throwing a small little topwater bait called a riser. I threw it over them and I actually started to get some of them to bite. Blowing up now. It's better. Let's go. All right, guys. I don't know. I've had like three bites on this in a matter of minutes. I need to get back out there, but I want to weigh that fish quick. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe they're wanting a the little riser bait. I don't know. I've been working the riser pretty fast and I've had a couple of bites on it. Um, but that time I worked it pretty slow. So 163. Gotta get them bigger ones. Gosh, I love spots though. So so pretty. All right, let's go. Little one. I guess slows the deal. That was probably a keeper, but if I'm gonna have 15 pounds, Yeah. 
Now before leaving this area where I had caught a couple of fish and one keeper, I decided to go hit a stretch of bank that I noticed in the distance that had some good looking laydowns. Oh my gosh. That was an absolutely giant spotted bass right there. Okay, so. Dude, I'm talking about a meat hammer. I thought I would come up here and get a largemouth bite, but that was a giant spot, dude. He was all over it, too. Look at that one. After getting that big spot of bass to hit my glide bait and seeing another large bass up shallow, I thought maybe this was the deal that was going to help me to catch 15 pounds of bass. So I decided for the next hour that I was going to do nothing but run the bank with the glide bait. And guess what? It yielded absolutely nothing. Now after literally seeing no fish up shallow except for those very first two in the first five minutes that I was shallow, I decided to fish another brush pile that I saw pretty close to the bank. This time I decided to pick up a subsurface type lure which was a jerk bait. I fired my jerk bait over there and lo and behold I got bit. Got us another little keeper gonna weigh it real quick one twenty one that big but strong got him on the side that's why maybe they want a jerk bait every time I think that they want one thing they want something else Now, after catching not only just one fish out of a school, but actually catching two fish out of a school, I really thought that maybe this silent jerk bait that I was throwing was the deal to catching some of these large groups of bass offshore. So I decided to run all of my best looking brush piles that had the most fish in them that I had found earlier this morning. And over about the next hour and a half, all I did was throw a jerk bait at these fish and guess what it yielded absolutely freaking nothing at this point i was really scratching my head i was kind of tired of looking at my screen so i decided to jump back up shallow maybe with it being later in the day i would find some fish that would commit to that glide bait oh my gosh i got him Freaking glide bait. Oh my gosh, there's another big one right there. Okay. That was an awesome bite, man. There was another one. A little bit bigger than that one sitting right there. Gosh, why am I such an idiot? Alright guys, just moved up into shallow water. It's a 240. By far the biggest one I've caught today there was one bigger with him 
Oh, that's gonna set my scale. And I had another follower all within like really short period of time. I've been way stubborn. 246. So I'm gonna do what I can. That's all I can do. That was awesome. Now again, I caught a fish on the glide bait. I saw another school of spotted bass in a glide bait. So for the next hour and a half, all I did was run different banks that looked the exact same as this particular bank where these fish were. And guess what? It yielded absolutely nothing again. So after striking out again in shallow water and literally not understanding what I needed to do to catch a bass, I decided to kind of stick with my strength, which I see as fishing offshore. And my game plan for the next few hours was to stay on my trolling motor, find as many groups of bass that I could, and I decided I was just going to lock that riser bait, that riser 007 Japanese topwater in my hand, because I had had a few fish bite that bait and I felt if I could figure out the cadence that they wanted with that bait that maybe I could start catching some fish and it ended up being the best decision that I made all day. Good night. That's a better one there. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Still out here fishing. Just, uh, trying to learn this and I think I've kind of finally figured out how to make these schoolers bite. Look at that. That's a chunk right there. <clears throat> but it's uh it's really all about getting them to get engaged to shoot up off the bottom and then uh and then slowing it down. 218 I think if you keep it going too fast, they don't always commit to it, but if you kind of slow it down after they kind of come up, that's the way to do it. But not all of them are, still, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Ooh, God. Golly, suckers are strong. That's probably it. Not hooked very well. Let's go. Look at 
look at that. <clears throat> That's a nice one. I think the deal that I'm learning is just to keep going. <laughs> If they're gonna bite it, it's gonna happen on like the first cast, second cast, and if not, the school is just, they're just being dumb. 242. Look at that. Beautiful. Bunch more down there, but they're so hard to catch more than one out of the school. There's a bunch of them right there. I haven't even seen how big, big he is. I don't know if he's big or small. Oh, that's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> Look at that, baby. That's probably the biggest one I've caught today. Man, I'm starting to figure it out. We are uh, about 10 hours into the day, and I feel like it's coming together. 2.7, 275. 275. Beautiful, isn't it? I think so. Spots are so much fun, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah. Holy. <laughs> That was sick, dude. That's another good one. <laughs> oh, gosh, I about got that in the hand. Oh. <laughs> dude, I can't believe I didn't just get hooked. I feel just so much better. I still got to... I still got it. I didn't hit my goal, so that's a 233 though. <sighs> Look at that. So healthy. Well, that fish was healthy, but unfortunately, I did not hit my 15 pound goal. I had a lot of fun breaking down an absolutely new body of water and it really felt like it took until the last hour and a half of the day until I kind of got on something and I wish I had just done that all day long to see if maybe I could have hit my goal weight, but I didn't. And so with that being said, I'm going to be giving away a over $100 worth of fin fishing gear to one of you guys, which is going to include a USA made sun shirt, a pair of sun gloves, and a bass hat. So I'm gonna do this kind of in a contest where in the next, basically I'm gonna wait a week and then I'm gonna pick someone from this contest to be the winner. So very easy. All you gotta do in order to enter this contest, comment down below on this particular video. That's all you have to do. Also, if you have an Instagram, if you go over to my Instagram and, and, and comment on the latest Bass Fishing HQ post, you also will be kind of double entered into this contest. Now, very, very important. This is the most important thing about this contest. I will be reaching out to you and all I'm gonna do is ask you what you want as far as the fin fishing gear and then I'm gonna ask for your home address. If, they, if I, I will not ask for anything else. So just be very, very aware of spammers out there because it's a contest. There's a lot of bots out there that are going to be creating 
fake accounts and they're gonna be asking you for really personal information, I'm not gonna do that. So just be very aware of spammers. I wanna make sure that I talk about that as much as I can because it will happen and I just, I don't wanna, I'm gonna be down below in the comments deleting anything that I see. I have already a bunch of negative keywords to help eliminate spammers, but with that being said, it can still happen. So just be weary of it. I will reach out to you guys and I'm gonna ask for your home address and what you want. I think it will, I think you will know when it's me is all I'm gonna say. So guys, comment down below, go to my Instagram, comment over there as well. If you guys enjoyed the Lake Break series, hit this hit this link right here. This is the playlist for all the lake breaks and, and you can just indulge yourself if you want. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.